I wanted an equal position of the board between himself and Mayweather. Mm. And Mayweather's camp all the time, all, all these years, has said, no, that will not happen. Mm. We know we had issue concerning the blood test mm. and all that. That was one of the reasons the fight did not take place. Yeah. Can he do it now? I would tell you Manny Pacquiao is the man looking for redemption. The best pound for pound fighters in their generation. Floyd Mayweather, he ruled while he, of course, uh, was there in boxing. Mm. All of a sudden, unspeakably, just retired said he was no longer interested in boxing. And who was the next man to take over? It was the Pac-Man himself, Manny Pacquiao. He dominated and beat everyone who came before him. Now, that period after Mayweather came back, now that's when that fight, like we've seen in local balance, the fight for hot end. Mm. If you had those two guys come up in the ring and come up, the best pound for pound fighters, mm. let's settle it once and for all, who is the best amongst you both? Now that would have been something. But no. It, they delayed, they dallied, it didn't take place. And within that space of time, in 2030, now for Floyd Mayweather, he's lost to Timothy Bradley, sorry, for Manny Pacquiao, he's lost to Timothy Bradley, mm -hmm. he's also lost to Juan Manuel Marquez. To me, it has actually taken away some of his credibility. This is not the same. But then he lost under controversial circumstances to Timothy Bradley. Well, controversial circumstances yeah. or not, this is one man who, whenever you got into the ring with him, you never could just beat him. Mm. He, it was already a given. If you were a betting man, you put money on the pack man, and he definitely was going to get Bradley, um, uh, get victory. Yeah. But Bradley beat him. Not only did Bradley beat him, one Manuel Marquez beat him. So like I say, in my opinion, he's looking for redemption. Mm. He actually beat Chris Allegri last November, mm. but that was, I think, uh, on a points decision. I used to take a look at the likes of uh, uh, Pacquiao and also in Mayweather. I look at them like people who should always be knocking people out. Mm. Now that's when you get a credible victory. Right. For Manny, for Floyd Mayweather himself, his last fights, his last five fights, has actually been won on points. So he hasn't knocked anyone out uh, within that last time. Who will win when they step up in the ring? I'll say the stronger man, 47 fights, 47 victories, Floyd Mayweather, he looks a junior, he looks like the man to win it, but I think Manny Parker is the more hungry man. Like I said, it's redemption for him. He's looking to make himself righteous once again. Let me step up in the ring and tell people, yes, I have what it takes. I indeed am the best pound for pound fighter. The money man, the pretty boy like they call him, Floyd Mayweather <laughs> Jr. has nothing against me. So if I'm putting money, I'm a betting man, I tell you, I will, I'll be putting money on uh, Manny Parker. Now, Carl, toe to toe, you know, uh, what are the qualities that stand these boxers out? Now, toe to toe, like I did mention, first of all, 47 fights, mm. 47 victories for Floyd Mayweather Jr. For Manny Pacquiao, he's actually been involved in about 50, 64 fights, mm. and he's won 57 of those fights, uh, 38 by knockouts. For um, Floyd Mayweather, he's had uh, 26 knockouts in his career. But guess what? He's the WBA, he's also the WBC welterweight champion. Okay, Manny Paka is the WBO welter champion. Mm. And uh, so those three belts is going to be- All the fights are on the card. Uh, yes, I mean, all of them, all the belts today will be on the line. And uh, he's an orthodox boxer. That's for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Mm. He's an orthodox boxer. He's right-handed like myself. When he steps into the ring, you know that that right hand packs some power. But <laughs> what makes Manny Paka- <laughs> Uh, a, a different and a little bit an interesting proposition is the fact that he's a south pole, he's left handed. So it's a bit different. I don't know if you play table so tennis. So left against right. Exactly. I don't know if you play table tennis against a left handed man. A difficult, yeah, difficult to beat. Usually difficult to beat. It's going to be an interesting fight, but mm -hmm. not as interesting and not as hard racing as it would have been, you know, if it had happened four or five years ago. The promoters are trying to sell this one. They're trying to make it seem as larger than life. Okay. HBO and Showtime will be involved with this one. Working together for the first time uh, when they did. Um, work together for Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson. So that's how big as it gets with that HBO and Showtime are working together on this one. Right. The big one, May 2nd, is the deed day. Lots of money on the card, 215 million US dollars. Wow. Some uh, countries don't care to see this kind of budget. <laughs>